so here's a, here's a question where we're asked to uh, graph f of x is equal to x over the quantity e to the power of x minus 1. And then to make a table of values to evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches 0, um, we're using our ti inspire. This one happens to be a uh, cx cast, but as long as it's a cast, it will do exactly what we're doing. Um, remember, again, I've said it a thousand times, if you have a cast, make sure you upgrade your um, operating system to 3.0. And you can do that going, by going on Texas Instruments website. It's a free upload. Okay, good. Good lecture. Good talk. Uh, okay, it's so going to start off by doing this. I'm uh, going to go to our calculator. And then we're just going to set this up. We're going to hit, these are important keystrokes for you to know. So X, right? And then I'm going to do this. If you don't, if you didn't see how I got to this right here, what I did was I hit Control Division. And it set up this rational like this, okay? Um, make sure that when you use E, you use E, this E right here, right? Not just the letter E. Um, and it's to the power of X. Important here to use your right cursor so you don't stay up in that exponential bracket. Minus 1. Again, I'm going to use my right-hand cursor to get over. I'm going to hit Control. Whoops, sorry. Control. Store. So Control. Store. Um, remember, when you hit the Control button, it, it reads the print that's in the light blue. So it's Store. And then we're going to just, if you don't mind, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this as f of x. So f of x. All right. So there's our function, f of x. Um, if you want to, well, you know what? Let's just do it in the order that we said we're going to do this in. So let's go back now and just go back to your home screen and choose graphs. The good news for us here is that you just type in f of x. f of x and hit enter. And there's the graph of that function. Now, what may not be obvious is that there's a hole in that function. Um, and it's not obvious at all, is it, by looking at it? Um, but you could do this if you wanted to. You could go to, where did I do that? Hold on, here. View. Yeah, show table. For you, you just go to uh, menu, view, show table. So there's the table. And we can see here that this function is undefined at at x is 0. It's undefined there, but if you can see, it makes a nice approach from both sides to the same height, doesn't it? And it looks like that limit is going to be, um, well, it's not obvious at all. Okay, so anyway, it asks us to sketch the graph, so there's our graph. So let's go back now and do this. So we're going to go back to calculator, hit calculator, and it says that we're supposed to make a table. And remember, we're taking the limit as x approaches as x approaches 0. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to take the limit to see what that limit should be. So x goes to 0 of f of x. Now, it, on the exam, if it's not asking for this, it doesn't help you to, to use your calculator to get this. But why this does help you is because you'll know what answer you should be going towards. So now let's make our approach towards 0 from both sides. So let's start from values greater than 0. So I'm going to start at f of 0.1, sorry, 0.1. Now I'd be writing this down and putting it, starting a table. I want to get, go closer to zero, right? You want to start off close to the number you're trying to get to, and then get, get there really quick. So f of 0.01, of course that's still greater than zero, but closer to zero than 0.1, right? So 0.99. That's making some sense, isn't it? I'm going to do one more approach and do f of 0 0.001. Hit enter. And it says that it's 0 0.9995. So that's really close to 1. At some point, your calculator will actually fail and give you the wrong answer. It will round, you'll make a rounding error and tell you it's that. Um, so let's try now. This says we're, as x approaches here, we just approach from values greater, right? I just graded, we just still graded, but we kept getting closer and closer to zero, didn't we? Now let's approach from the other side. So we'll take f of negative 0.1, yeah? Okay, so that's 1.05. So all this data that I have so far is the data that I'd be using in my table. So negative 0.01. It's getting closer to one, isn't it? And f of negative 0.001. And that's really close to zero. And this set up just this way. I guess what I would put in here is I would set this up this way. I'd have this first, this second, this third. The fourth entry I would have actually would be f of zero because it's undefined. But I could show 
as I approach from this side and from this side that I'm getting closer and closer to zero without actually, uh, I'm sorry, closer and closer to a height of one without actually ever getting there, okay? Okay, you guys, I hope this was helpful. The main thing is I hope you're learning how to use your calculator really, really well. It's going to pay off for you big time when you take the AP exam.